Our three heroes have ventured beneath the castle and encountered watchful monsters, intricate puzzles, and even greater beasts that challenge their strength. But will they find the creature beneath the castle? That's yet to be seen. This is a rendezvous with destiny. I am your not-so-humble Dungeon Master, Am, and with me today I have... Hi, I'm Graham, and today I am playing the character of Orion Meadowswift, a gnome bard. Hi, I'm Will, and uh, today I'm playing Griff von Schwarzwald, who is an Oath of Glory paladin, a uh, half-elf, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, looting some corpses after our last Hell yeah. Uh, spoilers <laughs> if you didn't watch the last episode, watch. go back and watch yeah, it we did a Watch... Will, <laughs> you can't watch a podcast. <laughs> and who is telling Will he can't watch you could a podcast? Try. It is me, Woo. Luce, the normal Woo. GM, Woo. Woo. and I am playing. Oh, it's amazing. And I'm, uh, I am playing uh, Aranarin, who is a sun elf druid. So, the last time we left our party, they had just defeated two mighty Quagoth in the catacombs beneath the castle. They, they were mighty. mighty. Um, you guys are left with these mm. two dead, slightly furry bodies in uh, this dungeon. And um, uh, what would you guys like to do? Well, I mean, clearly um, Griff wants to loot the bodies, so <laughs> let's not get in the way of that. Do you think? <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I'm, I'm going to do something quite unsanitary, which is try to cut uh, cut out. I'm going to cut open their stomachs and see if there's any yeah. dead people inside. Okay. I'll let you make okay, that could have gone either worse. a nature or investigation check. Uh, I will take investigation, please. Mm. Um. Ooh, this is seven. Seven. There are some body parts in the stomachs of these creatures. Oh boy. <laughs> would anyone like to do okay. anything else? Um, uh, um, I'm after you, too, happy you. staying as a tiger, but I'll do some sniffing and see if just see where they came from, see if there's any more hanging around. Okay, investigation check. You know, I'm glad one of us is smart because I didn't know what yeah. they were. We have a very good party balance. Uh, sixteen. Okay, with the sixteen, um, they there don't seem to be any more quaggles around at the moment. With 16, you notice that all the body parts in these creatures' stomachs, there are no heads. Um, I'm staying as Ooh. a tiger. That's weird. <laughs> like, nudge the other two, and then like drag mm -hmm. a bit of the corpse out, and then sort of gesture, oh, be like, there's yeah, no yeah, head yeah. in here. You know, stripes are really your thing. If a tiger could glare... Accessorise more often. Oh. <laughs> You can turn back Sorry, at any uh, time. I know, I don't corpses. want to. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it's funnier not to. Uh, d I'm going to look at the, the um, mm -hmm. assembled body parts that um, Aram Rim has just dragged before me. Uh, do I notice um, they're I missing a head? I will let you another investigation check, but it will be a lower DC. Yeah. Orion is, like, technically <laughs> smart, but are they smart paying attention? Smart in theory. We don't know. Um... So I rolled an 8, which is okay. a 12. 10 was so, the DC, uh, because 15 was mm. the DC for Oran, so you've lowered it. Um, yeah, you notice that there are no heads in the stomach. What Orion would derive from that is well, your prerogative. Uh, well, it seems they uh, rather let things get ahead of themselves here. I mean, do you think they just really digest heads well. Hey, Griff, come take Don't a look at these heads. I mean, these lack DM of heads. inspiration so that I can give you another one, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it forever. <laughs> Graham is like me as a video game player in that we both hoard resources and just never use them. And never yeah. use anything. I need yeah. all those heals. I'm, I'm not going to use them, but cheese. I need them. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm just going to look at the assembled things and <laughs> like the assembled bodies and um, imagine what you could do with uh, opposable thumbs. Well, um, play the loop for one. Uh, do you know anything about um, people yeah. who 
a lot of heads. Um, um, like is 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 specifically like eating the heads to the exclusion of the rest of the bodies. A uh, something that I've heard you... of before. Uh, roll me a nature check or other other DMs. What? Can I, can I, can I roll Lucent history? Lucent Graham, do you think history is a book? Whatever Anne do likes, my dude. Hey, yeah, it's up to you, man. Yeah, it's... I mean, I mean, it's, it's, what is your vibe? it's the same roll either way. What is your vibe? Like, it's the same you... number either okay, way. I'll let you roll history Ooh, or I'll spicy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll history because this will be based on word of mouth it's gonna from be other a adventurers DC. and that sort of I... thing. Yeah, I, I've got a zero in this, so yeah, a 12 probably won't do it. You have no idea. Okay, no, it's just, just a long shot in case I've heard anything from other hunters. It's worth whatever. it in case you get that sweet, sweet nat 20. I mean, sweet, do, sweet do you think 20. maybe they leave the head somewhere else? Or Can I... I don't know, like decoration? Think of any animal or anything I've heard of that would just eat the... would um, take the head off something and leave a body. That would be specifically a nature check, but you can certainly yeah, try. Yeah, that's what I was asking for. <laughs> plus, nature check, plus. I'm druid. Plus, may I plus, have nature? Plus, could be nature check. Oh, uh, not that's very helpful. That's a 12 overall. Aww. That fails the DC. Mm. Um, that's very there sad. are a couple creatures which you have in mind, but nothing specific. Okay. I just sort of shrug vaguely at the mm. two of them being like mm. I'm really That's enjoying this because all of you know Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> so well you know exactly what the main boss of this very short one shot is yeah but we're not gonna but like you're not gonna put it into your no. characters which is very very good for me personally yeah. player knowledge character knowledge different things would you guys I mean, Orion knows many things yeah. but none of them are useful would you guys like to continue okay. <laughs> yes uh, can I take a look around the room, yeah. please, Absolutely. First, just to see if there's anything... Uh... Du- during that scuffle, are the troglodytes still following us, or have they sort of um, flaked off They flaked off, off. you can't see them anymore. Okay. I just want to look and see if there's any other uh, items of interest in the Perception room. Perception or actually, investigation, I'm... it's your choice depending on what you're looking for. I'm just taking a glance, so I'm going to perceive. Yeah, Again, I'm losing a, I'm losing one point of plus here, but we'll, it'll be fine. That's a uh, Listeners 16. at home, this is the best thing about playing with former GMs, because they're entirely reasonable about what the checks they make. It's yeah. got to make sense, man. Uh, with the 16, sense. you notice there are, there are a couple of skeletons in here, more than just the, the sort of arm and finger bone you noticed previously. Mm. Um, with the 16, you notice right. that none of these bodies have anything left on them if that makes sense like there's no armor there are no weapons like item wise no, there's just a couple if you look very closely there's a couple sort of tattered clothes but no items no weapons okay which is a bit strange guys um either there's been some kind of uh i mean i don't want to judge i've been to all my fair share of social events in my time but either there's been some kind of underground orgy going on here or these guys um items and clothing have been taken elsewhere after they've died um uh, there's a lot of uh, what i'm saying is there's a lot of bodies here but there's not a lot of not a lot to cover those bodies which normally i'm in favor of but they're all dead so you know Well, on the plus side, I think it means we know where the um, where the fighting is taking place. In the bedroom. Uh, sorry, I meant the um, <laughs> where the where the missing people are. Like here, dead. Well, I don't know necessarily. I mean, how how long do you think these guys have been down here? How long do I think these guys have been down here? Yeah, yeah. Can, can, can we can, can we tell we're looking at the bodies? Like roughly. Like are they is it are they skeletons or is there still like flesh on there? And, and are they all still decapitated? You can all roll me a nature check, mm. and anyone who resides mm, in the city, mm, mm. which I believe is only Iran, can make it with advantage. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh, I've got a. <laughs> I rolled a two, so sure. I got eight. That's not going to give you anything. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Um, I, I got, got a 23. 23. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Calm down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, with an 11, there are no skulls. Yep. With a 23, okay. you look at these bodies, and 
some of them still have a bit of flesh on them. Yeah. And you look at the Ew. hands, which are calloused, and you look at these people, and maybe a handful, three or four, you recognise as prominent criminals of the city. Hmm. And that's what I will give you. There is a, another room ahead of you, three. What would you like to do? Uh, I would like to go a bit ahead of the party and sort of sniff as we go in, see if I can smell anything coming from ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, still, still a tiger. A tiger. Um, roll me a perception check or nature that. check. Yep. Because I like you. I can oh. tiger for two how hours. Long, how long can you tiger for? <laughs> <laughs> tiger for two That's hours. That's a good question. That's a ten. Ten? You can't Dude. smell anything. <laughs> Seems like a normal room. You can smell a little bit of smoke. I sort of turn around, like, shrug at them and continue to walk forwards, stalk forwards, trying to stealth cool. a little well, bit. I'm, I'm glad. The next room you enter is a very tiny library. Oh, There what? is a short table. <laughs> okay, what? Two comfortable chairs and a bookshelf. I love it. Big fan. What would you like to do? Um, how comfortable are the chairs? Um, sort of plush. Again, I'm not going to try and make things unreasonable for listeners but similar to the chairs that were in our student union slightly comfortable not too comfy not homey but plush so like they look comfortable Quite but when you sit on them they're actually incredibly exactly. uncomfortable not. <laughs> um so i assume around is going in this room first but so i'll let them go mm -hmm. go ahead but i'm very interested in yeah, sitting do down. Sit down so after, after you uh, lose I'm... but just only on if they're the not doing table, anything there is a couple mugs filled with a liquid. Um, can I ritual cast detect Absolutely. magic on the liquid? I guess I'm taking a seat during this ritual. Yeah. <sighs> oh yeah. Mm. You know, that's what this adventure's been missing. You know, like a good break room. I'm used to like a good green room. Um, at this point, I'm relaxing mm -hmm. into the chair and like sort of put in, like an arm out chair, of the armchair. Chair is not a mimic, uh, if that's what you're asking. It's fine, it's comfortable. <laughs> no, I wasn't asking, but I'm very glad to know yeah. I haven't died. Um. Uh, would you like to know the result of your detect magic? Uh, I'd love no to. There is no magic in this liquid. So, uh, mm -hmm. do you reckon this tea is like... Is it is tea, tea coloured, incidentally. I'm just going to take... Mm, I'm going to look at it and give it a sniff. Does it smell normal? Sniff? Yeah. Um, I mean, I reckon that would either be a nature or investigation check. It's up to you. Maybe an oh, arcana nature. if you want to make an uh, argument 20. and convince me. Twenty. Nature. It smells bad. Oh, like curdled man. milk. Okay. Well, whoever made this tea, either they made it a long, long time ago and they did kind of okay, or they made it very recently, and we should really have a, a word with their manager. I mean, it's not great, is what I'm saying. Mm. Um. I might just... I'm just going to put it back down, actually. Okay. Um, uh, is anyone else finding this weird? Tiger nods. Great. <laughs> Good. Good to know. What would you I mean, like to do? Uh, I, I mean, it's a dungeon. People are going to put, like, things <laughs> there, whether it's a trap or not. Yeah, I, I don't it's probably a trap, but, like, uh, let's at least see what they're reading. I mean, I'm going to take it out of the bookshelf. You look at the bookshelf? Um, anything stand out? Watch out for secret books and hidden traps secret and books, things like that. Hidden books, secret traps, yeah. H hidden books, yeah, invisible <laughs> books, uh, spell books. Just don't read anything If the book allowed. is invisible, I probably won't be able to read it anyway, so I'm not worried about that. Yes, but... Or don't read out the visible <laughs> don't books. Don't read either. out the visible books. Okay, well, this book says... What does this book Just say? Just don't read anything. I'm going to pick the most interesting book I immediately see and yeah. read You're going to pick the most interesting book out of the shelf? Yes. Okay, um, roll me a... Just a, just a, roll me a D8, a D10, check. roll me a D10. A D10, mm -hmm. okay. Because okay, there's 10 books okay. on the shelf. That's a seven. A seven? Let me count on my list. One, two, three. Uh, the seventh book is entitled Origins of the Multiplanes. So the Origins <laughs> of the Multiplanes. Um, I don't know if you guys know about this, but, and what? Uh, um, as, as he starts talking, I'm going to use some of my lay on hands pool to heal myself by uh, eight hit points. Okay, so so the multiplanes were first created when? <laughs> <laughs> and does anything happen whilst I start reading out this book? I'm just going to, like, 
go through the 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 intro. A he learned bit. some For, cool like stuff about multiplanes. Told you about the fair world, about the astral plane, about the ethereal plane. Bunch of cool stuff. Guys, apparently, if we drop a bag of holding into another bag of holding. <laughs> How dare you? Anyway, um, well, I don't know if you guys have learned something today, but I I feel like I should say I have. I don't know if I have. Um, anything else on this uh, the bookshelf that you'd like me to read? Otherwise, yeah, I mean, there's there's uh, nine other books you haven't looked at. Is there a theme across the books at all? Uh, roll me an investigation check. Okay. Uh, that is a 17. 17. Uh, yes. There is no consistent theme throughout the books, but they are in alphabetical order. I can read you out the books if you would like the titles. Uh, yes, please. The first oh, book. The, the owner of this library organises books by the uh, by name and not by theme. The first. Wait, book, we can tell that the villain. By name or the <laughs> author's name. The this first is book is entitled "All in the Family: The Royal Lineage." Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. The second book is entitled Eldritch Pasts, Self-Help for Warlocks. Love it. The third book is entitled Elements. <laughs> Are they real? Yeah. Who the, knows, The man. fourth book is entitled Erotic Elven Odes. I mean, I know most of these, but... The fifth book is entitled Liaman's Tiny Biography. Please tell me it's the biggest book there. Ah. It is. The sixth book is entitled Necromancy for Beginners. Mm. The seventh book is entitled Origins of the Multiplanes. The eighth book is entitled Pelor's Guide to Puberty. <laughs> the ninth book is entitled Prismatic Dragons, a rainbow study. Big fan. The tenth book is entitled Some Like It Hot, a guide to the plane of fire. <laughs> This is how I spent my afternoon, guys. <laughs> okay. Is that all of them? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Would you well, like me to drop the names in the Discord? I've got the first letters of them. I'd also like to note that um, this afternoon, as, like, Anne was writing the game, I would come in occasionally to, like, um, ask if she wanted anything, and she would, like, go, sorry, I'm looking at something sorry, really I'm important. Sorry, I'm looking at right the dictionary now. right now. Uh, Just slam on. down the, light, the laptop thing like you can't see. <laughs> Um, is the door to the next area open? There is no door in this room. Uh, I am going to well, turn uh, back into a human. Well, elf. Okay. Oh, huh. you know I kind of you look pretty good the other way, but this is fine. And I would like um, to have a quick check out <laughs> of that lineage book. Okay. Just want to see like what's at? going on. Give it a quick read. <laughs> cool. Uh, roll me an investigation check. Ooh, nat 20. Ooh, nat, nat 20. 20. What are you looking for specifically? Um, just maybe stuff about, um, see how close it comes up to modern day. Cool. Um, it goes to the birth of your elder sister. Elder sister, okay. Yeah, I just want to read about some stuff, see if there's any... Oh, actually, go with the Royal Lineage stuff, actually, going back a bit, seeing if there's anything hinting about stuff going on underneath the castle and secrets and things. Mm, what was your original roll, sorry? Uh, nat 20. Nat 20, okay, yeah, I'm going to give you some stuff. Would you like me to direct message you? Ooh, yes. Ooh, spicy. Let's do secrets. 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 Oh, boy. <laughs> Does DM stand for uh, direct message or Dungeon Master? Would you like me to Dungeon Master you? Cool, so you guys are facing this shelf of books, this low table, like you're in a student's lounge, and these three mugs, what would you like to um, on the table? The message, the secret messages that I got, when, about what generations is this talking about? Is it like recently or a long time um, ago? Within the last 100 years, certainly. Okay, um, um... So within your mother's reign? Within... My mother's reign. So is it talking about my mm -hmm. elder sisters or Yeah, so the, the generations are your mother and and then your generation. Cool. I will look a little confused and then mm -hmm. um to gesture the other two to come and look at this bit of the book. Which bit mm -hmm. of the book? Um, uh, sorry, what are we looking at here? What does it say? It's Liz? open on a page and it says mm. 
um, right. Um, appa- apparently, there's a uh, some a uh, creature, um, cre- beast thing that um lives beneath the city. That well, yeah, that's the point. But uh, apparently, <laughs> it um has been blessing the royal family for the last couple of generations. To find blessing. Um, that is all it says. Blessing. Um. If any of you are familiar with the city, you can roll me a history check if you would like. Am I familiar with the city? Uh, I think not. Mm-hmm. I'd say you, all of you are as a merchant, as a hero, as a child. I'd like to go ahead and roll a history check. I, I, I don't think I'm going okay. to. I'll have Fair a think enough. about it. I respect that. Um, uh, we'll 17. 17? Oh, well, mine's not that great. Mine's a 13. Uh, so with a 13, um, nothing particular stands out to you. With a 17, this city is known to be prosperous. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay. Is there anything anyone would like to do? Uh, I, I don't know. There is no door. There is a bookshelf. There is a table and two chairs and some chairs. I would Evening, like to right. feel along the bookshelf to see if there is a secret button. Oh, okay. Uh, there is no secret. You're touching button. up the shelves, are you? Okay. Uh, that's that's cool, I guess. Do you want to like take a seat for a minute? I mean, you you did kind of get slapped around by those um, weird fuzzy things a little minute ago. Um, oh no! Are, are the um I'm are the fine. mugs yeah. like identical? From what you can tell. You sure. Yeah, it's good thing about being turning into being able to turn into animals damage mm. um it happens to that when i'm in that form but um doesn't also happen to me at the same time so who feels the damage i mean surely well it's 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 magic so i get hurt but, but doesn't it like doesn't if the i have to be preserved somewhere? lose I mean... all well it's magic and if i uh go if i do sort of get too damaged i revert back to this form Okay, I mean, I'm just, you know, if you wanted to take a seat, take a bit of a, a, bit of a nap for maybe 20 minutes or so. Um, I will sit For down. a short rest time, sure. perhaps? I'm just feeling like if I'm, we, I'm if we to try honest. to s- stay asleep for a little bit, then maybe things might open up for us a little Would bit everyone like to take a short rest? I'm... G- I don't need uh, to. Yeah, I'm plenty. just gonna be like strolling away on my guitar. Loose, you're uh, the noob, deciding vote. Short rest, yes or no? If everyone else wants to. I'll say short rest if everyone's chill with that, because Will and Loose will like you. Yeah, I'm chill yeah, with that. Cool, short rest. Um, so, can everyone roll me wisdom saving throws, please? <laughs> Sorry, I was oh. doing anagrams oh, okay. whilst you were um, messing about with the books. And, well, one of the that? anagrams is asleep open. The other one is please nope. And I'm really hoping it's What's please What's an anagram nope. of nope, <laughs> Graham? Well, open, but I'm really hoping it's please nope. <laughs> Short rest, um, please, everyone. My wisdom saving throw. Uh, is... Oh, nice. So, I... 16. Um, 16? Uh, 19. 19? <laughs> 25. Nope. 25. Griff, you hear... A little voice in your head, just like your conscious, just like the gods who aim to direct you, that says, Why don't you ask politely? Ah, this is... I'm going to look so stupid if this doesn't work. Um, okay. And I'm just going to say, please open to the bookshelf. You say that, you don't do anything else, you just speak. Uh, and yes, he would okay. ask first. Happens. And then rearrange the books to read, please books open. To read, please open. The bookshelf. Yep. Uh, yep. Opens like a little door. You know, Griff. I always I knew you had it in. I told you. you not to. I told you not to trust books. You cannot trust hey, books in a dungeon. We trust in the books. The books open As up for us. As you guys look down the corridor ahead of you. Torches on the wall light up. Ooh. Leading to another oak door down the corridor about 30 feet ahead of you. What would you like to do? Is, is the door open? The door is closed. 
You cannot tell if it is locked or unlocked. Oh, sorry, I said open. <laughs> but also, I'm glad to know it's not open. No. The door, the, the bookshelf <laughs> is swung open like a door at the end of the room. Okay. I well, spent about an hour on those book titles, guys. <laughs> well, should we I really enjoyed them, man. I've then? got to say. Does oh, anyone have a favourite? Does anyone have a favourite? Um, okay, Leave so... <laughs> tiny biography. I, I really, really enjoyed Eldritch Past self-helpful warlocks, and I don't Thank know Thank you! That, that was, was also, also very good. They were all very fun. <laughs> but Some Like It Hot has got to be the winner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys can uh, see this corridor ahead of you and an elaborate oak door in front of you, which you can inspect if you would like to. You know what, guys? Um, what I always love is a totally not suspicious corridor. <laughs> Aaron, like Griff, charge? will you walk with me down this completely nondescript and definitely not dangerous corridor? And I sort of hold out both hands to my, my companions. Orion has two hands. And both of them are for friendship. Yes. And Aaron, like, very awkwardly and holds purposes, your hand. But, but like, Aww. very gingerly, like, touches it and is like, oh, okay, yes. He sort of, like, bows his head very slightly in, like, uh... It's like it's friendly, but it's also you could interpret it as a mocking sort of slight half bow, like. Around just it's, looks even more uncomfortable by this entire situation. Griff's like hovering. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, cool. Clearly, so do you guys continue? lessons in grace and decorum only get so far. Um, well, I tended to climb out the window for those. Uh, well, there's no windows here, my friend. So I'm afraid you're stuck with me. That's not. The worst. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it, I, that came out more positive in my head. I realize that now, but. Uh, you yeah. seem nice. Yeah, well. First appearances can be accurate. Let's go. So, you guys continue down the corridor. There is a little plaque above it, and the oak door in front of you, and an iron latch on the outside that you can lift. Great, I love a really easy to open door in my suspicious corridor. You're just gonna open it? Yeah, I'm just gonna lift the latch. Okay, cool. Would anyone like to read the plaque? Yes, I would like to read the plaque. Uh, Griff, would you like to read the plaque? Does it say do not open? No. Um, do not dead open yes. inside. Griff uh, and Aran. Yeah. The plaque says, The Great and Benevolent Kavros. Um, sorry, sorry, quickly. What language it's is common. this? It's common. You open the door. Okay. Does it say anything else? Sorry, apart no, from the Great and Benevolent Kavros. No, it just says the Great and Benevolent, benevolent Kavros. Great. Not a cool concern about this dude. You push it open, there's a... And you see a throne room with two ogres standing like royal guards, left and right of a velvet throne that's... Avran, you recognise this better than most. It's it's a... Aran, sorry. You recognise this better than most. It's a very low quality material. Everything in here looks very very fashionable but at the lowest possible cost there's a uh, rugged and very manufactured red carpet there are not gold items but items gilded in gold on little plinths either side there are two strong and beefy ogres either side and in the center of the room you see if you would care to join the live sharing oh screen. Boy. A oh mind boy. flayer on the little Don't like that. <laughs> in, on the top of some steps facing down to you. He raises an eyebrow and he sees I see your lamp has set another feeding. Excellent. Please prostrate yourselves and I will enjoy myself. What would you like to do? Well, normally people would buy me a drink first, but... Uh... Is anyone else not feeling this right now? Um, I mean, that's I'm a normal confused. state, but like, in a in a worse state than usual. True, but I'm normally about fifty. It might have gone up to more about eighty now. What are you, Griff? You feeling good about this? I uh, I'm going to touch um, uh, Orion <laughs> on the shoulder and cast Shield of Faith, <laughs> which gives you plus two armor awesome. class. The mind flayer kind of looks at both of you, and and they're like. I'm sorry, I don't believe you understand. You are my monthly meal. 
Please prostrate yourselves and I will treat you with mercy and not allow my minions to feast upon your flesh. Uh, hello, Mr. Mr. Kavros, I presume? That is correct. I'm assuming you've heard of my incredible benevolence to the realm. Well, your incredible benevolence, of course, goes without uh, for saying. However, uh, I'm afraid we're not here as your, uh, as you say, your monthly meal, which of course is much deserved. We are, in fact, uh, here to entreat you for a diplomatic, uh, you know, a, a, we are a diplomatic embassy sent forth from the crown to discuss with you your continued benevolence towards mm. the kingdom. Um, what on the loose? Do you think this should be a deception or persuasion Deception. Because I'm on the fence, so I need expertise. I think it's, de it's deception, like... Deception? Excellent. Definitely. Graham, deception check, please. I will roll an equivalent insight check. Okay, that's 19. 19? Mm. Where's the Mind Flayer page in my monster manual? Uh, I don't know, but it's probably a big number. Here we go, got it. Yes, it is. Uh, perception is wisdom, correct? Uh, perception is wisdom, yes. Plus three. Uh, as oh, I rolled a five. That's an eight. Uh, so Kavarat is going to be like, Oh, uh, Elan didn't inform me of um, any change in our agreement. Uh, what, 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 have you, what have you come to ask of me? Well, um, we, of course, are, as you can see by my company, we are trusted friends of the Queen. And I'm sorry, um... May we speak freely? Would it be perhaps more apt if you were to send your trusted companions from the room, <laughs> perhaps, so we could uh, have a frank discussion? I, it is simply the fact that we would like to work more closely with you in future for uh, the my of my the guards know absolutely nothing. You are more than welcome to speak in front of them, um, and I'm not even going to make you guys make a check. This might all of you have slightly. Been, been aware of what mind flayers are, what lithids are, what they look like as creatures from another plane. This guy looks incredibly comfortable compared to the mind flayers you've heard of. Around this sort of makeshift throne room, there are jewels and artifacts and tomes. He is dressed in around what you would recognize as noble clothes for the realm. Um, He's incredibly comfortable. The fact is, uh, my most esteemed friend, Kavros, that uh, we hope to further the realm's prosperity with your, of course, with your forbearance and continued work on our side. Am I not incorrect, my my dear, my dear companions? Yes. Mm. Yes. Um, Aran so... and uh, Griff, I'm going to need a joint uh, deception check, please, because you both lied. You're welcome. <laughs> oh dear. Let's get the problem <laughs> started when you both fail. <laughs> I can Five. Five. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, loose. Um, that is... Um, I've, got, I've, got, I've got plus three as well. <laughs> that is uh, technically a minus one. <laughs> oh, a minus... So you rolled a two? Wow. <laughs> I rolled a, I rolled a nat one, so it, I'm sorry. cool, a nat one, cool. Kavaros is gonna sort of look all of you up and down and be like, "You seem incredibly armed to invade my premises. I believe you are not here on aid of the queen. I'm going to need a little bit of a fight, like I commanded my minions before, and I would like everyone to roll initiative, please." You got it. That's a natural 20, so 22. Mm. 12. Uh, 12. 9. That's Loose. Nine, 12. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. As the Mind Flayer steps forward, the Ogres grab their clubs. It is, uh, you managed to get a little bit of a move first. What would you like to do? Are the Ogres part Thanks, of the Fight Club? Um, <laughs> I would like to... Okay, so mm -hmm. we've got two, two Ogres, is that correct? Uh, I was going to include one, but I thought the previous fight was a little too easy for you guys. Don't give me, don't give me spoilers, okay? I'm, I'm going to make some <laughs> stupid mistakes whether you like it or not. Um, yeah, I'm sure this one will be Ogre <laughs> Right, now, now you, sir, can leave. 
What's the minus of a Dungeon Master's inspiration? I don't know, but I'm sure you can probably do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to cast a level 2 Dissonant Whispers on um, just the closest ogre. So on the map, pick up I'll or pick down. the upper one. Upper one? And Excellent. I would like... Well, they have to make a wisdom saving throw. Please. Mm, okay, let me... I'm flipping between monster manual pages here, guys. You got it. Keep flipping. So, wisdom saving throw, yes? Yes, please. Cool, minus two. Let's see how this It'll goes. Fine. I rolled the five. That's a three, Graham. So they what does that do? They fail. Um, because I'm casting it at second level, it's um, 46 psychic, not 3d6. And also, Excellent. because they failed, they have to use their reaction to move away to the best of their ability. So, okay. if it's alright with you, I'd like He's to go ahead move and roll the damage. Over here. Um, Excellent. Which is uh, 9, 10. It's only 12, actually. It's not that great, but that's 12 points of psychic okay, cool. damage. 12 points of psychic damage. And I'm actually going to stay where I am. But, uh, again, you, you would yeah. see... Orion sort of strumming the loot with a sort of furious intent after his attempt to persuade the other things had not gone as well as planned, perhaps. Okay. Um, sort of changes tune, literally. Uh, and is now making an attempt. I, th- I think I took psychic damage after that pun. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm here all week. Okay. <laughs> That's my turn. The Mind Flare is going to use its go to levitate. Don't like that. So, it's not it's not going to show up on the map, but he's going to levitate about uh, fifty feet. Fifty. And I sort of assumed he wasn't in combat. No, nope, he would have is. Totally gone for that. And then he is sh- going to use his mind blast on all of you. Yeah. So we um, need everyone to make an intelligent saving throw. Yeah. Um. <laughs> don't like yeah, that. Yeah, Will. You uh, told me you made a tank. This is your repercussions. It's a that twenty. Oh, okay. Is a twelve. Twelve loose. That's a twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay, Graham, I'm gonna need you to take some damage. Uh, do you think I should? Actually, I'm gonna find the dice. Where are my d8s? Where are my d8s? No, no, no dice for you. For future. One. So don't count them. I don't want to know. No, Three. Not. Stop it. Where's my Get other one? Where's my last one? Four. No, that's a D10. Yeah, don't, roll, don't roll that. Where is she? Where is she? No, I'm not going to roll the D10. I'm not horribly cruel. Uh, there's my four. Okay. Let's go. Okay, Let's so go. that is 48 minus 48 plus four. Uh, Graham, could you possibly take 14, 20, 22 damage and be stunned for one yep. minute? I, mm, I'm i just going to double check the mind blast. Just in no, case it's I'll just anyone... die. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just checking if the people who save take half damage. Oh no, we, we can all die as well. I, I've rolled a nat 20. But I don't about believe... Hands. Yeah. No, that doesn't help. You save or you don't. Uh, you either die or you die slightly less well. This is how it works. Oh, you take half as much damage. Graham, how much damage did I say you take? <coughs> 22. Can uh, Luce and Will take 11 damage, please? Pretty please. Ooh. I suppose. Ooh. Take 11 you, you, damage? You, you cannot uh, awoo me if you've just done 11 uh, psychic damage to me. Wow, 11. I want to have our feels. 11. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's the end of the mind yeah, players yeah, go. Yeah, great. Well, I, I, um, I had to spend a valuable uh, 20 on my dice. I could have kept that 20 loaded. That's my loaded dice. And mm. then, if I believe, it is the ogre. Graham, did the ogre take its hit? It did, didn't uh, it? It should have taken some damage and it's. Run Excellent. Away a bit. Um, yeah. Griff, what would you like to do? So, did you say he's 15 or 50 for. Uh, 50 oh, thank yeah. Christ. No, 50. 50 out of 60. Sorry. Wait, 60. what? <laughs> so. so like, sorry, 5 0 or 1 5? Let me double check the spell level. Please levitate. double check the spell level, thing. I've had many wines. <laughs> One of those is very big. One of those is not. <laughs> yeah, the range of levitate is 60 feet. Okay, bye. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to go for the. Uh, 
You can throw your sword if you would like yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, <laughs> or an ogre. obviously, we'll obviously, ogre. I'm not going to throw my sword. I'm going to, I'm going to rush. <laughs> I'm going to rush the other ogre. I'm going to bonus action, um, another six hit points back onto myself, uh, and then I'm going to attack the other ogre. Uh, does a uh, yes. 11, 18 hit? I hope so. And a 23. 23 damage. Okay, no, yes, no, no, just that hit. Oh. Okay. Now do 23 damage. Oh, well, I rolled snake eyes. You can re-roll so that. No. So, I'll, I'll, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Because of because of the two, two-handed two weapon feet, I can just re-roll. Mm. I can just go, no. Ugh. Seven um, plus six, 13. And the other damage is... Oh, I'll re-roll that one. Yes. Uh, is seven... Okay, so 26 cool. damage total. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you did damage the first ogre, which has moved far to the throne. So this is to the other one. Um, yeah, this is the one that cool. wasn't dissonant whispered. So the near one. Uh, yes, the near one. Excellent. The uh, bottom one on our screen. Your go? Aran, what uh, do no. you want to do? Um, if the mind flayer is hovering 50 feet do up, how thing. high is the ceiling? The ceiling is about 70 feet. <laughs> okay, can't do that. In that case, I'm going to cast Moonbeam on the yes. nearest mm. ogre. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. oh. so, yeah, I wanted to do call lightning, but no. So I just, I just it will take moonbeam. damage mm. on when it leaves the... Um, it takes damage in the area. Because it's once it enters, which is entering when you oh, pull cool. the spell. Oh, cool. Nice. I'm pretty sure then it it's going to take. Yeah. I yes. It has to make a it save. Will make, of some kind? To be, it's a con, a con save and needs to beat. Yeah, it needs to beat 16. Okay, I have plus three con, so I have to roll 13 or higher. Come on. I rolled a nat 20, I'm not kidding. Oh, well. Oh, but no. I take half damage. I'm going to take half damage. So what is that? It is, but, 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 let me do some rolling. All right, that is 13 halved. 13 halved? Yeah. Uh, so six. Six um, radiant six. damage. Cool. Excellent. We are top of the round with a right. Oh, um, as the bonus action, I'm turning into a bear. Nice. Excellent. Turn into a giant Sorry. brown bear. Um, yes. Orion time. Big fan of this. Hi, um, I'm. I've had it with this mm -hmm. like tentacly boy, so I'd like to cast dispel magic on him. So yes, he's is it and dispel magic damage, specifically hopefully. to the levitation? Um, he he instantly fails it because okay. it's a it's a level two spell, so yes. it, it instantly okay. ends cool. any spell of level three. Yeah, or lower. he's back down. So he's falling. Do you say fifty feet? Uh, so he's damage. taking four damage Excellent. to fall there. Oh, you guys, he was nearly on 69 damage, but he's not anymore. Oh, I so, wish I could. So, how, how much damage did he take? No, 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 damage. not full. Full damage. Oh, full damage. How much full damage did he take, Graham? Uh, is it's a well, D6 he, he falls for 10, every 10 feet after so. 10, I think. So, 4d6. So, he takes. 4d6 damage I, I'm, then. Uh, yeah, 1d6 bludgeoning damage oh, for so every 10 D6. feet. No, it's just for every 10 feet. I think so I might be five, about okay. 5d6. Then he takes 5d6 damage. Thank you. And now that we've brought him back down to our level. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, that was my, actually my action, and it was a spell. So there is not a huge amount else I can do this turn. Except... I'm fairly sure I'm still able to give someone bardic inspiration. Who you could give it to? No, that's also an action. Depends I think. Depends what uh, level it's a, it's you are. It's a bonus action. It's a bonus action. So then I'll definitely be doing that. Uh, I am level five, which I think means I get the inspiration well thing. Let me just double check this for you right now because I don't want to do it wrong. Uh, it's it's a bonus action from level one. Uh, I made a bard. I'm gonna hella do it then. Um, I will give my bardic inspiration to um, my newest friend around, who I feel like is gonna just like, I don't know, go yep. full bear on someone. Um, is that the end of your go? So I'm just gonna, yeah, end of my go. I'm just gonna be like, bear with me. <laughs> Griff. Please. Please. Griff. 
Can you make- Um, sorry, I was eating ice cream. <laughs> you got ice cream without me? What? <laughs> I mean, we were recording. I just snuck off to the. Where's um, our ice cream? One and Bring me some of the it. ice cream. Where was our invite? Okay. Uh, there is there is none left. You will have to get <gasps> new ice cream. Which flavour did wow. you get? Um, it was similar roll halo top. <laughs> there are, there are chocolate cookie and heavy salt judgment. Caramel. You know that's not as good as the cinnamon Coming your roll. Way. Will, can you make me a wisdom saving throw, please? What for the ice cream? What? No, just because it's the Mind Flayer's go. Oh, no, it's wait. It's not. It's Will's go. Graham. Sorry. It's my go. <laughs> no, Graham just had a go. That means it's the Ogre's go, then the Mind Flayer's go. Oh, okay, well. okay. So this Which o- Ogre? This oh, ogre? Um, it oh, starts you, its turn in Moonbeam, yeah. beam, so to... it needs to make a constitution saving throw. GG, son. Okay. Oh, I rolled real good, though. Uh, I okay, cool. It's going to take half beam. damage. Ouch. Still works. Oh, so it's taking Rambo. eight damage. Ooh. I halved. Wait, no, okay. that's 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 the different. Sorry, that's the wrong. Oh, okay, ogre. then then that doesn't this happen. One. This ogre moves towards the back of you. It is going to take a shot. Is he still just in a whisper? It's only for his reaction. Just in a whisper ends at the start of another person's game. Ah, it's not like it's not like a fear spell. It's just for his reaction. It's going to take one of its swings at Griff and one of its swings at Aran. Oof. Cool, so it's roll against run is gonna miss, but it's roll against Griff is going to definitely hit. Give me the numbers. What I one? want the numbers. Uh, sorry, I need to the grab numbers the numbers make eight. <laughs> they sound big. Oh oh Griff. <laughs> oh boy. Sorry, yes. sorry, no Griff. Hello. Aran? Aran? Hello? Oh Griff, you're fine. <laughs> Aran, I rolled max me. damage. That is 20 damage. That's a whole bear, I think. Um, you said it didn't hit me, but it did hit Will. I meant it the other way around, sorry, because my first attack missed, my second attack hit. Ah, I see. So could you take 20 damage for me? I can, I just need to check bear. I'm, okay, I'm still a bear. Still a bear? It is I'm still a bear. the uh, mind flares go, I'm just... Okay, I'm just you're, you're, you're a twinker bear. Oh. I failed. Okay. Uh, so it is going to. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Will, can you roll me a wisdom saving throw? Yeah. Will, can you roll what? me a wisdom saving throw? Uh, is this no, anything it's to, to do, do with the spell being dominate monster? Oh. He's not a monster. Uh, the Am I a spell monster? dominate monster language uh, states you attempt to beguile a creature that you can see within range. I believe you count as a creature. Ooh. Yeah, it yeah is, it's higher level, high so level. it still actually it counts. Yeah, she's right. She's right. Yeah, she's yeah, only got yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, but it's a charm. Uh, it's a charm spell still. You have to succeed on a wisdom or be charmed for the duration. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Not with advantage. And I. And I have a, a advantage on my end. That advantage. nice, nice elf heritage. Thanks, thank. Good luck. Have fun. Yeah. Um, oh, so you, I've got a yeah, dirty twenty on a uh, yeah, dirty twenty. That player's time is useless. Yeet. Then get 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 I your believe. horrible brain germs uh, away from me. It nearly killed Which me last turn, so I'm glad. It about is that. your go. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Um, it's still yes, base to base with the ogre, the ogre here, mm. right? Um, well, I, I'm with the bottom one, <laughs> technically. Oh, I mean, okay. Would you like to fine. engage uh, with the top one or the bottom one? Uh, the okay. bottom one, because that's the one I hit Roll last hit. time. And I'm going to use a shite. Excellent. If you, if you hit, that's obviously. Only a level one one. Again, this is assuming that I hit yeah. one of my attacks. Um, so I've got 18 yeah, and a 24. Yeah, those both hit. Okay, I'm going to roll my regular damages and then I will do the smite. Um, these aren't fiends or undead, no, are they? they are not. They are giants. They're not undead They're ogres? Giants. Okay. Um, well, the first one's going to take... <laughs> okay, so first take 32 damage. Okay, uh, let I'm me sorry. do the maths before you... What? <laughs> Uh, and then we might buddy. see about the smite. Next one. <laughs> um, so 32 damage was between the two mm-hmm. attacks. Okay, so is it it's still, still alive? Up. Yep. 
Okay, and then I'm going to um, smite her only at level one. So that's 2d8. Okay, roll to hit. Uh, radiant. Bonk. Uh, that is an extra nine. Nine damage. damage. Okay, it is still up. Oof. Big oof. Uh, <laughs> that was your go, correct? Will? Yes. Excellent. It is Great. the bottom of his turn. Uh, it's cool. It starts its turn in Moonbeam. It needs to roll no, a constitution. It moved already. Yeah, but it, it moved out of its well, turn. Well, then it put it. Yeah, but it moved oh, out of its turn. Yeah, sorry. No, because the. Wait. I yeah, because you said because you moved because the other you moved the wrong ones. So the top one moved in attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, it moved out of its the turn. The bottom so one was the one that was in the Moonbeam and hasn't moved. What damage does it take? Uh, what did it roll uh, on the con save? Rolled. Okay, so it's taking half. And That's it's taking the top one, correct? It's taking 16, so it's taking. The bottom one is taking 8 radiant damage. Still okay, pretty okay. good. It is still up, no problem. Cool, bottom one's gonna take a crack at you, Luce. Cool. Come on around. Uh, we got this. Um, 14. Oof. That hits. Oof. Bear is not Oof. good. Oof. 2d8, let's go. Goodbye, bear form. Uh, I, I'm, I'm glad I accidentally chose the wrong one. <laughs> for 13 yeah, points of damage. Uh, 13 points of damage. 13. I am still a bear. Really? Ooh. Bears have a lot of hit points that I did not know <laughs> they about. They really don't. I'm <laughs> on one. Okay, 13. Wow. Oh, one point. I won oh, one bear hit points of point. damage. It is your go. Loose. Cool. Get I'm it. a bear this Absolutely um, ogre. Absolutely Mm-hmm. So that's a bit, I have a multi-attack. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to bite. Yeah, here we go. Go for it. That's a dirty 20. Oof. Yeah, that hits. And that is taking... 12 points of piercing mm -hmm. damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then a 23 to hit. And Dude. it's Ooh. taking. Come on, come on. That's just unfriendly. <laughs> Another this twelve points of damage. Barely up. Ooh. Barely up. Am I right? Am I right? Barely. <laughs> uh, you're you're right, not, wrong. not wrong. Wait. Um. <laughs> so, sorry. How far away from me is the mind flare at this current moment in uh, time? So each of the. It's on the ground. So it's below 60 feet, right? 35 feet. Okay, great. I'd like to uh, just sort of... I'm going to sort of talk some trash about its tentacles. Like, mm -hmm. You know, it seems to me that uh, you could really seem to do some dental work around there. You've got a lot of sort of <laughs> straggling kind of... Wisdom saving throw? I just feel that it. you could put some more effort in, you know? Um, wisdom saving throw, please, yes. 14. I did roll a 16. Yeah, 14 is quite low. Three. It's a 19. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to wisdom save through a mind flare, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah, rogue move. Um, so it, 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 that does yeah. nothing. I guess I just feel better about myself. Um, I'd also like to... Uh, healing word. Mm -hmm. Iran at this point. Mm -hmm. um, so oh. I, I'm, uh, this is at first level. Uh, sorry, second level. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just going to buff up the bear form slightly, which is 2d4, sorry, I mm -hmm. believe, for healing word. I'm going to roll those now. 2d4 plus 3. Um, that, <laughs> that's a solid 7 hit points you get there, so we'll see if it actually goes anywhere. It's better than being on 1. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and that is going to be the end of hmm. my turn. I'm going to stay where I am. I feel like I'm, I'm, cool. I'm chilling where I am. Ogre time. Uh, Ogre time. This ogre's gonna hit you. At uh, me? Yes. Okay. I rolled. I rolled the AC. Alas. Oh, what AC? A nineteen. Okay. Yep. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Could you take uh fifteen points of damage for me? Yep. Excellent. That is the end of that ogre's go. It is now the mind flayer's go. Mm -hmm. Excellent, I hit the recharge. Um, which means that can both of you make me an intelligence saving throw? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, 25. Um, 15. 15. Uh, okay, so I believe all you failed, um, but Lou succeeded. Where are my two days? Uh, Will, can you take 21 points of damage? Sorry, sorry 21. Yes, it's 48. Okay. Uh, and and I definitely failed with the four. fifteen. Uh, it's a fifteen. Oh, you know what? It's a fifteen saving throw, so you actually succeeded. Sorry. Yeah, I was just checking. Uh, bah, 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 bah. so twenty uh, eleven. Wait, so it's twenty four. So that's Oof. twelve. If fail, so take twelve points of damage, loose and will. That's a lot better cool. than 21. I'm I'll take it. Back in um, Aran form. Oh, Excellent. I tried. <laughs> so so I can return into a bear. We took How's true. everyone doing? Bonus action. I mean, I'm still above half. Your boy's half. hella damaged. Yeah. I'm, I'm still up. Uh, Will, I believe it's Should I heal myself? Yeah. Did I? No. It's not your go, Graham. I mean, what? I'm my own go. Should I have? Yeah, yeah. Am I still um, no. <laughs> um, I'm going to use the rest of my lay on hands again on myself. Yeah. <laughs> which is 12. So that seems bonk. fair. Uh, and then I'm just going to keep wailing on this ogre, I guess. Get it. Cool. The one to I, the north of I'm, you. I'm going to do like one attack and then the other one. Absolutely like, get it. I'll let I'm you, if it. you succeed and kill this ogre, I'll let you take the other attack on the other one. Cool. That's the plan. So I'll start, uh, I'll focus on like the bottom one because that's one that I've been hitting. You're going to focus on the bottom one. Uh, 24. That and is. damage wise, it takes, uh, with a reroll, 11 plus 6, 17 damage on the first hit. Cool. How would you like to kill this ogre? Nice. Yes. Just, uh, just literally, uh, as, as it swipes me, just the old sword through the mouth trick. Everyone Excellent. loves it. It's stabbed It's very up satisfying through. seeing you just delete it off that publisher document, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> it, it stabs up through the bottom of the mouth and this ogre keels over on its back. There's a big thump big in the throne room and it is gone. Uh, it is the second ogre's turn, which is... Uh, I'd like still... to take my other attack if that's all right. Oh, of course. Would you like no. to attack this other ogre? Yeah, I would love to. Roll to hit. And I'm also going to... Uh, oh, no, I've used my bonus attack. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Um, you have. That... Almost definitely hits. It's twenty-three. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Um, you can sound less um, put out about it. Like. <laughs> uh, that's seventeen damage on that ogre as well. Yeah, how would you like to kill this ogre, bud? <laughs> nice. Two for two. <laughs> yeah, the which, was, which was like faintly glowing before is now just a blaze, and also like uh, glowing is the sun icon on um, Gris' like tabard. Mm. Griff is just yelling at this point, and the the sword just like sliced again and again into like the ogre's chest. Excellent. It's the mind flayer's turn now. Oh, the guy we done like no damage to. <laughs> Wait, so a... so so the intelligence saving throw we just made that was just a thing. Oh, yeah, le- that was just no to, to, to avoid the mind no blast. Don't worry about it. Oh dear, you'll be fine. It's gonna move over here towards the druid. Hey, bud. <laughs> and it's gonna say. I thought your mother and I had a deal. And it's going to um, make a tentacle attack. Ugh. Ooh, fun. I mean, unless that's what you're into in this case. Oh, yeah. loose, that's an 18. <laughs> that does hit my 18. That, <laughs> that is going to try. So, um, blah, 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 blah. 2d10. Let me find my dice. Don't like that. No, no, no. Do not like that. <laughs> Where's my energy? There it is. Excellent. That is seven damage. Uh-uh. Seven. Oh, that's fine. Uh, could you make a medium? Could you make an intelligence saving throw, please? Mm. Yep. Here we go. Uh, but 25. 25? Oh, wow. Okay. okay. You're not going to get your brain extracted. <laughs> you just take the 15 points of damage. Um, 25, my dude. It is now... Well, did we just have your go? Yeah. Uh, we did, yeah. I killed both the ogres. Okay, Lisa, yeah, it'll be me. Go. Cool, I'm going to turn into a bear. Do it. Excellent. Do it. Wow. 
And I'm going to multi-attack the Illithid. Does a uh, 23 hit. Yes. <laughs> nice, this is a bite. Oh dear. And that's doing 12 cool. damage. Cool, 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 cool. You sound happy about that. And does a 19 hit. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna, okay, this is the claws. Uh, that's a 14 damage. 14, excellent. <laughs> excellent, cool. Is that the end of your go? That is the end of my go. Graham? Yeah, okay. Um, so... The first thing I would like to do, yeah, no, I'm just thinking, is to cast. uh, Yeah, I'll go ahead and cast Dissonant Whispers. That's Mm. a swear. That's my first swear jar, guys. (laughs) We got it. Yes. (laughs) Okay. um, We got it. For everyone that's listening along, the swear word will be cut, but. we operate in the profanity-free zone, like for our oh my God. Uh, edited recording. So when people swear, they go in a swear jar. We've been recording and putting things in the swear jar since um, March. Since March the twenty-sixth, and this is Graham's we first got there. entry four Woo! months later. We actually got there. Especially because Graham and I used to do a undergraduate uh, radio show together, and we used to chant the F word before we went into the booth. And Emilio's we fear every lot. week was he's going to do it. He's gonna, <laughs> gosh Shall darn I roll well, that do it. <laughs> saving throw. Sorry, um, where was I? It's my turn, right? I believe it was a wisdom saving throw I was rolling. No, 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 no. I, I was, I was considering whether to do it, and I realised that it was a oh. very trash idea, um, as what the do kids to? do not say ever. What do you want no. to do? <laughs> they don't. So I would like to. Um, I'm going to do it anyway because that's okay. just how I'd be rolling. So I, I will cast Dissonant Whispers, but only at level one on wisdom? the Unethid, which is a wisdom saving throw for 14. Okay. I rolled an 11 plus 3. That's a 14. I believe that means I beat it. You meet it. it, so you beat it, yeah. Unfortunately, which is very sad. Um, half damage or no damage? Uh, no, it... Distant Whispers is half damage, so it will Ooh. take half 3d6 psychic damage, which is going to be... But it won't have to move. Um, half of 10, which is 5. Yeah, five. Basic, basic maths. I can do it. So this Illithid is now on top of a rat. Yeah. It failed the grapple saving earlier, but because it's this next go, it's going to try and do the extract brain move. Uh, Wait. Oh no, sorry. Grappled. Sorry. Hold up. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, Hold up. Wait a minute. Fill my bardic inspiration. Put some dice in it. Oh, who's getting bardic inspiration? Uh, well, Iran has not used their bardic inspiration yet. I've still got so mine. Like I feel like to, you have to give it to. I'm, well, yeah. I mean, I, I think I physically have to. I don't think you can stack it. So I'm gonna give it to. Um, Griff time to stack. Yay. Cool. Um, That's your. Um, you hear a light sort of loop throwing behind you, and you hear a sort of a. You got this. I messed it Toss up, but you got this. Toss a coin to your Griffith. Toss a coin to your Griffith. Oh, please don't no. mess this up. Because I messed it up. <laughs> I messed it up. Um, okay, so. Go. Luz, could you make me another ad? Strike saving You have a D8. Strike Wait, no, it's the no, same thing. You don't need to have a D8. Throw. Intelligence. Intelligence. Sorry. Okay, that's fine, because I keep my intelligence when I am. Uh, and I'm going to take a little tentacle attack on you. I don't think I will, because you know, that's another 25. I think you'll be alright then. Five. Okay, you succeed, but the tentacle Lying, attack eh? still hits. Yep, yeah, how much damage? Uh, how I need bear? to roll. Oh boy. Nine. No, that's fine. Oh, it does work for saving throws. Cool. Are you down or are you still up? No, I'm, I'm back in bear and I was back up to full bear, so I'm fine. Okay, so Many you bears. are down nine from bear. It's just kind of sucking on your brain. Slurp, slurp. Trying to. Um, cool. That was that go. Uh, Griff. Yep. Um, I can potentially hit this man, can't I? 
or this yes, thing, can, this actually. individual. Okay, you uh, I gender. would first like mm-hmm. to uh, use. I'm just going to double check that I'm uh, using this spell correctly. Hi. It'd be kind of embarrassing if I wasn't. Um, there are lots of spells called divine something. Give me a minute. <laughs> oh, divine intervention. Uh, divine favor. Oh, okay. What would you like to on do? Yourself? Or... Oh, on yourself? On myself. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's um, it's self only, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's just. It's, it's a solo job, so uh, divine favor myself, and then mm-hmm. just hit hit this thing. Actually, nice. actually, okay. uh, I think about it. I'm not going to divine favor if that's alright. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to hit it and then smite. So. Mm-hmm. If you hit. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Obviously. Ooh. Um, does a tw- n- dirty twenty hit? Yeah, dirty twenty hits. And the other dice is a twenty three. Yeah, that hits roll damage. Nice. Uh, oh, both twos. You could sound happier. Yeah. Six. Um, so twelve on the first one. On the second one, it is. Feel all that. Um, so fourteen. So twenty-six plus uh, level three. Uh, level two smite. So that's three d eight. Um. What did D8 look like the other like D10s? I hate it. Uh, 10, <laughs> 16, plus 28, um, 44 damage. What? 44 damage? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> t- t- 20, Smite. Oh, uh, 42, sorry, 28 plus. 42? Uh, 28 plus. Oh, yeah, plus that extra 14. two makes me feel so Would much better. Would you like to kill this creature? <laughs> sorry? Would you like to kill this creature? Does that, does that kill it? You yeah, 42 damage, dude. Left. You can choose whether to uh, do a murder or to keep it alive for questioning. Uh, I'd like to keep it alive. Okay, I will let you do non-lethal damage as you stab into the shoulder of this elephant. It gives out a powerful psychic cry. Waves resonate off its tentacles. Its head rolls back and looks back up at this. I thought Alanthe and I had a deal. I could pin it to the ground like through with the sword through its shoulder. Mm-hmm. And nod at um, uh, and Rowan. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do, Rowan? I, I turn back into um, a sun elf rather than a bear. I completely cool. forgot your character's name and just had a punch as it. <laughs> you did yeah. pretty well. Um. Hello. Apologies, right, Aaron, what, may, may I step um, in for just two, two, literally two please? seconds here? Um, please. I'd like to cast Zone of Truth in the area. Okay. Oh, I was uh, just about to do that. Through, I believe. Yes. We both independently took Zone of Truth. It will incorporate uh, can, all of us for the, for the can record. Can Graham, Luton, Will all make me a wisdom yeah, yeah. saving throw? And uh, you know if we pass or succeed. I got an 8, so I Ooh, failed. Uh, this creature got a 12. It failed. Does that succeed? Uh, yeah, wisdom? Nice. Was it? Yeah, to 14. Yeah. Uh, I, I fail as well. 25. You succeed. Congratulations. Orion is the only one who succeeds. Excellent. Uh, Orion, you are surrounded by everyone apart from the royal in your party who has failed his own truth. What would you like to do? Get away, Orion. Um. Right. <sighs> Mm-mm. Um, uh, hello, um, I don't really know what's going on here. Neither do I. Um, yes. Ask them what they think what is going on here. What do you think is happening? Uh, the offerings from... Her Majesty have decided to fight back a little bit, I believe. What do you mean by offerings? What I mean is, uh, I offer protection from the monsters of the realm. I control the creatures, which allows me to command them to till the soil and keep a prosperous agricultural economy for this land. The Queen and I have made a deal. I get to feast on five people a month in order for my aid. This appears to have been broken. I believe you've been said to kill me. In which case, do it. Do you know why she would do that? I do not. I 
believed her loyal to the great Kavaros. Why would she be loyal to you? Is this not a mutual arrangement? I offer her prosperity and safety of her citizens. Why else would she pledge her fealty to me? I am How great exactly and benevolent. Do you go about confirming prosperity for the citizens of the realm when you live in, if I may be quite honest, a frankly rather disappointing cave? I mean, I've seen better caves. I myself have lived in a cave, and my cave was more well furnished than this. I'm sorry. I command other creatures of this realm to till the soil to make sure lands are fertile and watered. Which creatures do you command? Troglodytes. Quagoris. All. Creatures of... The dark. Mm. All of them? Most, and not all. Not all. I am not a commander of vampires, of fiends. I keep the land safe for my queen, and she in turn. The creature gestures to the throne room. They have accumulated, and you notice, jewels, books, treasures, which would not be accumulated by a, a monster in the sewers. Hmm. Aran, did you know about this arrangement? I know, and I am very uncomfortable about it. Hmm. How long has this been going on? Was that directed to Aran or to the creature? To the Elithid, sorry. Twenty years. I have eaten the criminals of the city to rid them of hatred and violence and I have in turn given benevolence and kindness I deserve a place in the council the queen is inhibiting me for her own pride I'm just going to turn to Aran quickly because I feel like I'm leading the conversation more than I should be um, mm-hmm. um Aran sorry for yep. cutting across here I assume you knew nothing of this no, I, no, no, I didn't know anything. Um, Perhaps this is better for you to uh, ask than me, but uh, maybe you should inquire as to the depth of this conspiracy. Um, yes, oh, yes, okay. Um, how many people know about Beyond you? those I have consumed... Sure. Yes. The queen, our attendants, her progeny. Um. Um. Okay. This, uh, I put my hand up. Then. Um. Aaron also puts his puts their hand up. It's like I didn't know. Um. I have never been informed of you. I have never been informed. Are you our progeny? Okay. Yes. She said I would become a lord. Hail throughout the city. Is that not what you wanted mm. to do? To feed me. To honor me. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know if um, current circumstances might suggest otherwise, but uh, you could... You could imagine we might be hit you otherwise. We were asked to kill you, and yet it seems you had a beneficial relationship with the Queen. Has something changed recently? They look yeah. confused, and they're going to raise up to try and strike you, Griff. Like, my, my sword is in them. <laughs> Yeah, you can try and stab a deeper and kill them if you'd like. No, I'll, I'll just take it. Oh, uh, it fails. Their tentacles attempt to wrap around your forehead and slump off. Okay. They say, I am the queen's blessing. 
I am her advisor, her kin. I do not know why she would wish to rid of me. Only enemies. In kin? How did you and the queen, uh, uh, you know, meet? meet? I was exiled. I took up residence here. She embraced me for the aid I would give to the land, to the people. <sighs> if I may speak freely. Oh, great and mighty Kairos. It appears to me that you were perhaps used somewhat. You've been kept down here, no? Then Beneath the ground. Uh, you've never been afforded your rightful lordship. You have been told time and time again that you would be recognized for your efforts, and yet here you are. It seems to me that you've been you son Julie. The queen values me. She respects me. That is the reason why I am here. Really? That is the reason why she feeds me her criminals. She feeds you the lowest of the low. Do you believe that? They have to be intelligent enough to make it through my library. They must be worthy feed. Take it from me. There are intelligent people who are also idiots. I've yes. met many of them. That is a thing. Why do you harm her ally? You... Uh, they glanced at Avrin. You are of royal blood. You understand how I protect you. How Not I hate really you. No. I will give Sorry. you land fertile crops. But you are I will give you many ground. savings how of do, um, crime. Let me free. I will promise you peace and prosperity. And they raise a hand, sort of claw do we, Avrin. Do we I think we can get anything else out of this? Back. Or shall I put this miserable creature out of his misery? I don't think so. Griff, I, I feel kind Sad. of... This is out of character for me, don't get me wrong, but I, I, I feel the smallest amount of... Pity? Let's not say compassion. I think that was a step too far, but... Uh, Pity? Even that might be still a step in uh, a direction different to what I'm intending, but... Uh, I feel this creature has been unduly used by the crown, and there is someone else who may be at odds here. I'm not suggesting that the worst thing to do would be to remove this threat to the the peace. Uh, oh, gosh, I feel bad saying that, but... Hmm... I think I'm experiencing what is called a moral quandary, and I've, if, I've never felt if this If we before. cannot use it for anything else, um... We, we owe it to the citizens of this place to... To exactly. I don't know if this is... I don't know if I have come with it, uh, Mr. Griff, sir. Um, although I agree in principle that uh, this individual is certainly someone who has done harm to the populace and to the peace in general and to... The interests of people. I, I, I clearly this 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 uh, this person has eaten people. Did okay, you? let's just get that out there. Um, yes, I enjoy now. brains very much. They're delicious. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Um, That's why I have the easier. smart puzzle because it makes people's brains work harder and then they're more delicious. Well, my brain, of course, that's is creepy. incredibly delicious, but that's beside the point. I tried um, it. It was very good. Oh, well, thank uh, you. Uh, you know. We'll talk about that later, if you survive. Um, oh, gosh. Well, what are we, what are we thinking, friends? By which I, I don't mean you, a uh, person who you've just vanquished, who has been consuming uh, citizens for the last 20 years. I'm, I mean, my friends. You two. Um, I'm not mm. sure. It yeah, it's actually I, that. I, th I think my I think my perspective is clear, so I think it's up to you, Luce. <laughs> uh, I we were asked to do something. I don't think we're doing the wrong thing. I just Who? don't think we're doing the uh, right thing. I don't thing. think we're doing the wrong thing. I don't, I don't think, think it stops here, right. but I, just, I don't think it stops no, here. No, but it's this is this know, is a start. I, and we may no, as well see the business through. We can ask. I, 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 I can ask questions. Well, uh, later. 
upstairs. Okay. Of what? Um, I'm just gonna twist the sword in its shoulder and just kill it. <laughs> As you twist the sword, Kavaris gives up a final gasp and they collapse to the floor lifeless. You have finished this dungeon. Oh, there is no creature beneath the city of Rafis anymore. Congratulations. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Brew. You have finished the puzzle of Rafis. Mm. You guys, I enjoyed this so much. Good yeah, job. Yeah, awesome. How's everyone doing? You guys enjoyed it? Like, get better at DMA? Uh, I, yeah. How did everyone find it? I everything? want to talk to Lucy now. <laughs> uh, in game. In game. Yes, I also want like, yeah, so to. If you I. guys don't want to include this game in the podcast, Hella but you want to keep same. playing, I have so uh, many things planned. Yeah. I enjoyed it a lot, actually. Um, I don't mm. know if this is everyone found the same thing, but I enjoyed playing my character yeah. quite a lot. But bards be that way. Luce, what did you think? Did you have fun? Have I grown as a DM? I loved it. Oh, it was so much fun playing. <laughs> I've worked so hard, yeah. you y'all. I feel like I've grown a lot. It's very as a DM. good. Very good. Hopefully next game loose, we can do some uh, RWD oh. Skyrim content, and then after yes, um, mm-hmm. I've been reading up on many yes. many. Years. So thank you everyone for listening to this uh, special interval um, uh, episode of A Rendezvous with Destiny. Uh, Luce has been reading up on a lot of myths in the meantime, as we've just heard. So to find out what will happen next to Cleo, Flora, and Elspeth, you can follow us at at rwd underscore pod on twitter where we post all sorts of links as well as behind the scenes photos updates and polls that you can take part in you can also tweet us and uh we'll get back to you as soon as possible um you can also follow us on acast spotify itunes or wherever you get your podcasts at a rendezvous with destiny and when you tweet along remember to use the hashtag Mm. hashtag rwd pod thanks goodbye Bye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed me being a GM. Okay. Will uh, and I are in part of a D&D game, which is about to have its one-year anniversary. It's very exciting. Uh, but I'm very looking forward to it. We're all going to cosplay. It's going to be a good time. Luce, what did you think of I the game? I had a lot of Luce fun. Luce activated bear mode. It was good. Ah, it was I'm glad good. you did. It was good. I did. Oh, I could also <laughs> turn into a giant goat. I didn't, but I can do that. That's the thing that I can do. Impressive, but loose and activate bottom out. Pricegate in any way. Everything is available free online from a variety of different sources. We would also like to stress that RWD is unofficial fan content that is not approved or endorsed by Wizards of the Coast, and portions of the materials that we use are the intellectual property of Wizards. Any similarity uh, in terms of characters, plots, story, or locations is totally coincidental, and we do not claim ownership over any aspect of official Dungeons and Dragons intellectual property. If anyone listening has any concerns about any of these points, please direct message us on Twitter at rwd underscore pod. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time for A Rendezvous with Destiny.